So cloud computing is delivering computing services over the internet. And that's the key there, over the internet. And it could include things like servers, storage, databases, and more. And when we talk about the cloud, we have to distinguish it from on-premise computing services. So with on-premise, those services are hosted at our site in our office building. And with the cloud, they're hosted at a vendor site, typically in a data center that looks like this, very nondescript. And that data center is full of racks of computer servers in them. Now, when we talk about the cloud, it's important to distinguish between storage and compute. So these two things are together on our own laptops, but in the cloud, we can buy them separately, storage to store data and compute to process data. But there's almost an infinite number of things that we can do in the cloud. We can store files, analyze data, host websites, deploy applications, train machine learning models, and lots more. Probably the most common example of a cloud service is Google Documents. With Microsoft Word, we install that application on our own computer. With Google Documents, it's installed on Google servers, and we just access that service through a web browser. Now, an important question for the cloud is why would we actually use it? What are the benefits of it? So there's four key benefits, affordability, availability, scalability, and opportunity. So let me talk about affordability first. So one of the nice things about the cloud is you only pay for what you use. It's a pay-as-you-go model. Think about cars. You could buy a $30,000 car, but maybe you don't really need that. Maybe a better option is just pay a taxi $3 per mile. So we could buy a ton of computer servers and put them in our office, but maybe a better option is just buy cloud services per hour or per gigabyte. Now availability. The cloud is designed for continuous uptime, to stay up and not go down. It can typically continue functioning even if something fails. And that's made possible through multiple redundant sites or data centers. Now with scalability. So we can easily increase or decrease computing resources in the cloud when it's needed. And at many companies, it can take months to buy and set up a server. But in the cloud, you can spin up a server in literally minutes. Now, finally, opportunity. In business, with everything that we do, we have to make a decision. Do we want to do it ourselves or do we want to pay someone to do it? Think about a lemonade stand. If we own the stand, we could build the stand, grow the lemons, manufacture the cups, make the lemonade, and so on. But we have to decide which of those things that we want to do and what we want to pay someone else to do. We should really focus on what we do best. Maybe that's make the lemonade. With the cloud, we can focus on what we do best as a company. Someone else can handle the technology infrastructure. We can push that off to them, and then we have more time, again, to do what we do best. Now, as we finish up, it's important to talk about a few popular vendors in the cloud market. There's four that are really the most common, AWS or Amazon Web Services, Microsoft with Azure, Google Cloud Platform, and also Alibaba. Those are really the four most popular vendors out there right now. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, you can subscribe below. And if you're interested in other analytics cheat sheets and resources, you can find them over at codybaldwin.com.